Good evening and welcome to Vision of Asia, Voice of the Community. We bring you trusted news and events that honor our rich South Asian culture and celebrate our vibrant community. I'm Nidhi Kathuria joining you from our ITV Gold Studio in New Jersey. In the news this evening, US pilot program for H-1B visa renewal welcomed by Indian community. Indian American Congresswoman Stalker sentenced to 364 days in prison. India and France set for collaborative agreements during PM Modi's visit. Sai Hira Global Convention Center inaugurated virtually by PM Modi for cultural exchange and spirituality. PM Modi advocates global unity and development at SCO Summit. Shekhar Kapoor wins Best Director for What's Love Got to Do With It. Stay with us on Vision of Asia, Voice of the Community for news and detail right after this short break. The pilot program for renewing temporary work visas in the US has been welcomed by the Indian community, providing relief to numerous Indian workers on H-1B visas. Ajay Bhutoria, a prominent advocate for immigration issues, expressed his honor and happiness regarding the announcement. The program aims to create a more efficient and humane immigration system, alleviating financial and emotional burdens for legal immigrants and their families. The pilot program, initially including Indian nationals, is set to expand in 2024 to include a broader pool of H-1B and L visa holders. The H-1B visa is highly sought after, allowing U.S. companies, especially in the technology sector, to hire skilled workers from countries like India and China. An Indian American Congresswoman Premila Jayapal's stalker has been sentenced to 364 days in prison. The 49-year-old man, Brett Forsell, pleaded guilty to misdemeanor stalking in Seattle's King County Superior Court. He was initially charged with a felony, but accepted the reduced charge. Seattle police arrested Forsell outside Congresswoman Pramila Jayapal's house a year ago, where he was armed with a handgun. He was released after four days due to lack of evidence of specific threats. However, he was later charged with repeatedly harassing and intimidating Jaipal. Forsell was found with a loaded handgun and had verbally attacked Jaipal's neighbors as well. Prosecutors stated that Jaipal feared for her safety. Forsell's actions reminded Jaipal of the anger and hostility she experienced during the attack on the U.S. Capitol. As part of the sentence, Forsell is prohibited from contacting Jaipal and processing firearms for eight years. <music> India and France are set to sign multiple commercial and government-to-government -government agreements during Prime Minister Narendra Modi's upcoming visit to France. The focus of the cooperation will be on joint production in high technology. The French ambassador to India, Emmanuel Lenin, expressed that there will be a significant number of agreements signed during the visit, which will further enhance the partnership and cooperation between the two countries. He emphasized that French companies have been pioneers in the Make in India initiative and now fully support the philosophy of Atmanirbhar Bharat aiming to share the best technologies and foster joint development in the future. Lenin also highlighted the successful and timely delivery of 36 Rafale jets to the Indian Air Force despite the challenges posed by the COVID-19 pandemic. He emphasized the importance of trust in the partnership between India and France, enabling them to collaborate and jointly develop technologies for mutual benefit. India is the guest of honor of our Bastille Day, our national day. We wanted to have Indian troops in the parade and to have also Indian Rafale in the sky. Well, it's going to be a very important visit. Uh, India is the guest of honor of our Bastille Day, our national day. 
doesn't happen every year that we have a guest of honor, but this year it's very special. That's the 25th anniversary of a strategic partnership between France and India. And uh, we wanted to have Indian troops in the parade and to have also Indian Rafale in the sky. There are important meetings at, at that level. There, there, there will be some uh, uh, new uh, 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 momentum for, for cooperation. That being the 25th anniversary this year, we're going to draft a roadmap to uh, open for new uh, cooperation in the future, especially in the field of technologies, in the field also fight against climate change, global issues, people-to-people uh, -people exchanges. There will be a lot of news. And, and, and also there are ongoing cooperation that are now mature and uh, we which uh, uh, make for new agreements and that we're going to be announced in a few days. Sir, India and France are big way in the defense sector. Any new developments expected? And what about the co-production and co-transfer of technology? You know, you know at the core of a uh, partnership between France and India, there is trust. We know uh, that we can commit for, for years, for decades, and we won't change our mind. And that's really important. We've sh been showing that for, for decades. I mean, each time each other's country needed the partner, he, he's been there. And that's very important. So that uh, allows us to, uh, uh, to bet and to develop jointly technologies which uh, need years and years and will be used for decades. That's through in the, uh, in the defense sector, that's true also maybe one day for uh, nuclear energy, that would be also true for other technologies. So yes, we, uh, uh, we have decided to, uh, to work in the defense sector together. It's important for our strategic autonomy. We work in a, in a spirit of partnership. I mean, French companies have been the pioneer for years of making India, and now they totally understood the philosophy of Atmarnir Barbarat, and they really want to, uh, to share their best technologies and to develop jointly the equipment of the future. Prime Minister Modi as the SEO chairperson highlighted India's continuous efforts to enhance multidimensional cooperation during the SEO summit. He emphasized two fundamental principles guiding these efforts. The first principle is Vasudeva Kutumbakam, signifying the unity of the entire world as one family. The second principle is secure, encompassing security, economic development, connectivity, unity, respect for sovereignty and territorial integrity and environmental protection. Excellency, Namaskar. Aaj, Tainsvi SEO Summit mein aap sabka hardik swagat hai. Pichle do dashak mein एस पूरे एशियाई क्षेत्र में शांति समृद्धि और विकास के लिए एक महत्वपूर्ण प्लेटफॉर्म के रूप में उभरा है इस क्षेत्र के साथ भारत के हजारों वर्ष पुराने सांस्कृतिक और पीपल टू पीपल संबंध हमारी साझा विरासत का जीवन प्रमाण है हम इस क्षेत्र को एक्सटेंडेड नेबरहुड ही नहीं एक्सटेंडेड फैमिली की तरह देखते हैं एक्सलेंसीज एस के अध्यक्ष के रूप में भारत ने हमारे बहुआयामी सहयोग को नई ऊंचाइयों तक ले जाने के लिए निरंतर प्रयास किए हैं इन सभी प्रयासों को हमने दो मूलभूत सिद्धांतों पर आधारित किया है पहला वसुधैव कुटुंब कम यानी पूरा विश्व एक परिवार है यह सिद्धांत प्राचीन समय से हमारे सामाजिक आचरण का अभिन्न अंग रहा है और आधुनिक समय में भी हमारे लिए एक नई प्रेरणा और ऊर्जा का स्रोत है और दूसरा सिक्योर यानी सिक्योरिटी इकोनॉमिक 
development connectivity unity respect for sovereignty and internal international uh, and territorial integrity and environmental protection ye hamari adhyakshta ka theme aur hamare sco ke vision ka pratibimb hai bharat ne इस दृष्टिकोण के साथ एस में सहयोग के पांच नए स्तंभ बनाए हैं स्टार्टअप्स एंड इनोवेशन ट्रेडिशनल मेडिसिन यूथ एम्पावरमेंट डिजिटल इंक्लूजन तथा शेयर्ड बुद्धिस्ट हेरिटेज एक्सलेंसीज भारत ने एस की अपनी अध्यक्षता के अंतर्गत 140 से अधिक कार्यक्रमों और सम्मेलनों और बैठकों की मेजबानी की हमने एस के सभी ऑब्जर्वर्स और डायलॉग पार्टनर्स को 14 विभिन्न कार्यक्रमों में शामिल किया है एस की 14 मंत्री स्तर की बैठकों में हमने मिलकर कई महत्वपूर्ण दस्तावेज तैयार किए हैं इनसे हम अपने सहयोग में नए और आधुनिक आयाम जोड़ रहे हैं जैसे ऊर्जा क्षेत्र में इमर्जिंग फ्यूल्स पर सहयोग ट्रांसपोर्ट के क्षेत्र में डी कार्बनाइजेशन और डिजिटल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन में सहयोग डिजिटल पब्लिक इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर के क्षेत्र में सहयोग भारत का प्रयास रहा है कि एस में सहयोग केवल सरकारों तक सीमित न रहे लोगों के बीच संपर्क और गहरा करने के लिए भारत की अध्यक्षता में नई पहलें ली गई हैं पहली बार एस मिलेट फूड फेस्टिवल फिल्म फेस्टिवल एस सूरजकुंड क्राफ्ट मेला थिंक टैंक कॉन्फ्रेंस इंटरनेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑन सैड बुद्धिस्ट हेरिटेज का आयोजन किया गया एस की पहली पर्यटन एवं सांस्कृतिक राजधानी इटर्नल सिटी वाराणसी अलग अलग कार्यक्रमों के लिए आकर्षण का केंद्र बनी एस देशों के युवाओं की ऊर्जा और प्रतिभा को सार्थक करने के लिए हमने यंग साइंटिस्ट कॉन्क्लेव यंग ऑथर्स कॉन्क्लेव यंग रेजिडेंट स्कॉलर्स प्रोग्राम स्टार्टअप फोरम यूथ काउंसिल जैसे नए फोरम्स का आयोजन किया एक्सलेंसीज वर्तमान समय में वैश्विक स्थिति एक महत्वपूर्ण पड़ाव पर है विवादों तनावों और महामारी से गिरे विश्व में फूड फ्यूल और फर्टिलाइजर क्राइसिस सभी देशों के लिए एक बड़ी चुनौती है हमें मिलकर यह विचार करना चाहिए कि क्या हम एक संगठन के रूप में हमारे लोगों की अपेक्षाओं और आकांक्षाओं को पूरा करने में समर्थ है क्या हम आधुनिक चुनौतियों का सामना करने में सक्षम हैं क्या एस एक ऐसा संगठन बन रहा है जो भविष्य के लिए पूरी तरह से तैयार हो इस विषय में भारत एस में सुधार और आधुनिकरण के प्रस्ताव का समर्थन करता है Tune in this Friday at 9 p.m. EST for the romantic drama Do Chore starring Dharmendra and Tanuja. On Saturday at 1 p.m. EST, catch the comedy film Fool and Final starring Shahid Kapoor, Vivek Oberoi, Paresh Rawal and Sunny Deol. And on Sunday at 3 p.m. EST, don't miss the comedy film Golmal Fun Unlimited directed by Rohit Shetty starring Ajay Devgan, Arshad Varsi, Tushar Kapoor and Sherman Joshi.
Thank you for watching Vision of Asia, Voice of the Community tonight. We value your feedback and suggestions on community news coverage for both our television and print platforms. Please email us at events at itvgold.com. Stay connected with us on Facebook at ITV Gold and subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest updates. You can also grab a free copy of the AC Talk at the Tri-State or Chicago region for news, entertainment and events. Check out the News India Times newspaper online at www.newsindiatimes.com or call 212-675-7515 to get a hard copy. Thank you for tuning in. This is Nidhi Kathuria signing off.